I, I wouldn't be surprised. That. I don't put nothing past nobody. But at the end of the day, I don't shit. Bill Clinton, all of it. I'm gonna tell you who I I believe <laughs> is on the tapes. I believe Barack Obama got a tape. Yeah, he playing hide the hot dog. I know Jennifer Lopez has multiple tapes. Oh yeah. Oof. I know Beyonce got a tape. Oh. I definitely know they probably recycled some old Stevie J and Eve stuff. Mm. I know Drake got a tape. I know Rihanna got a tape. I know Chris Brown's on one of them mm -hmm. tapes. Real life. It's about to get interesting, people, because we're back with a special episode of So Let's Talk About It, the podcast, because Diddy has been arrested. <laughs> Woo! I know y'all see the new setup. All blue, you know what I'm saying? You had to do... Had, had I can't to see the setup. Okay. I'm here. ain't changing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he ain't changing. There we are. <laughs> the blue setup, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We try, we're upgrading. We're, we're doing what we do. Um, as usual, you know, we have the OG cast. We got Fast Money at the end. We got yeah. real life Joker. We got real life Rook. So you got me, Let's go. Angel White, the baddest albino entertainer. And well, we're, yeah. about to, we're about to get into it, man. It's 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 saucy, it's spicy, it's a lot going on. Diddy Diddy's has rich. been arrested. Diddy party. No. What? Let me take that. We went Diddy paperwork party. Hey, yeah, no, no. Uh, Diddy is arrested. Oh, okay. Um, are we not clapping that up or are we keeping that up? Uh, Innocent till proven guilty. Innocent till proven <laughs> guilty. Willie Lynch. Um, Let's clap it up for that Willie Lynch. The, nah, the, nah. the thousand <laughs> bottles of baby oil seems very guilty. Yes. To me. Well, oh my god. So can we can we let's, can let's we kick off bro. how we did earlier? Um uh Faz, you had a very good point. And you had a very good uh point as well. Point to the point. Point to the point. Um, what was your point you were trying to make earlier, Pat? It just seems like to me that if you're a black man and you got a lot of money, you don't need to be freaky. Or it's gonna they're gonna body slam you and shit. They're gonna take you down, they're gonna take your money. What is freaky, bro? Let's start in your eyes. Anything that is out of the natural consensual sex with a man and a woman. That is what's freaky. So what Diddy was doing. I don't think that's just freaky. I think that's a little bit more than freaky. Uh, what 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 is freaky? What is freaky to? Well, I'm telling you. Let's think of the word. Wait, wait, let's think of the cool. word freak. No, so let's start with this. Let me ask a question. Um, to have multiple orgasms, is that freaky? To have multiple orgasms, like to keep going, like we're gonna keep going. You already did the do. For a man, if a man busts six nuts, is that like a little freaky? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Check your mic. Oh, we are off. All right, we're back off. Do we need to run it back? No. Okay. Uh, let me ask the question again. Okay. Is a man having multiple orgasms with a female in one session, is that freaky? Nah, if you bust six and this, bust them. I can only bust two. Oh. If you a nigga that can bust six, bust your six. See your mind, man. Is that what you got? I got to go to sleep or something. <laughs> oh. no, I, to sleep. <laughs> I need rest and nutrients and electrolytes after two, so shit. So when you hear Diddy had a freak off that lasted for days, what goes well, through yeah, your head? What goes through your mind? I mean, I was like, hey, shit. I wish I would have been able to last for days. Shit, I nigga, I would have been gone the first day of the freak off. What? I mean, shit. I done busted my two nuts, nigga. I need to recharge. I hope if it's still going on later. So if they have, <laughs> if they have an IV for you to recharge, is that freaky? I ain't like, no, we're going to force you into see, recharge. Yeah, yeah, so that's what we're talking no, about. No, I'm not letting nobody stick no needle in me and no freak. Well, this this is what's going, going on. Yeah, this is what's happening. That's this why is what's going on. That's why this is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sex is wrong? No, no. so the IV next so to when you need an IV on a nightstand, is that not wild? Like, it ketamine. Huh? A little ketamine. A little, a little bit ketamine. of ketamine. Have you ever tried ketamine? No. Horse I'm, not, I'm not that freaky. Peak, peak candy? Have you tried peak any cocaine? Have, have, you tried, have you tried any enhancer? No. I've you, never ever tried went to, you ever bought that pill at the gas station? I've never. Watermelon. That's what her own. Yeah, yeah. And when I was drinking, alcohol. So wait, you eat watermelon to enhance your sex? Yes. Talk to the people. I just eat watermelon because it's a good natural fruit for your body. 
Yeah, but I don't do ketamine. Awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, nah, nah, but what I'm saying is, nah, you say hey, I'm not that bro, freaky. Bro, hey, but, hey, wait, hey, have you ever hey, had a watermelon do that shit? Yeah, so go to the bathroom and pop a watermelon real quick. That's how it is. Pop a watermelon, I'm sweating. I don't do that. Oh, 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 before. So you get ready for the freak off of Watermelon? Nah, I don't. Oh, I'm not getting on no freak off. <laughs> so let's get that right first. I'm not involved in any freak off that last 72 hours. Yeah. No bro, crazy shit bro, like that. Bro. I've hey, never so, had a stage party. <laughs> let's keep uh, let's bro, keep bro, going. Bro, RP was from the party. Bro, 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 lifestyle. Bro, bro, every party is a sex party. No, it's not. What are you bro. talking about? I've been if to I, several. If me and my girl have some drinks and we listen to the music and we start fucking, this is a sex party. That is not a sex party. What is what, it? What makes a sex party? What is, how is that a sex party? Wait, 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 wait. So you were, yeah, what, what what you and your girl are just in the, Man, in the room me, by yourself. Me and my girl. Can you have a party with my girl. Me Let's and my girl, we done had some drinks. Hold she on. done put on some lingerie. She started dancing. I threw some money that on it. That ain't a sex party. That's you, you and your girl. This bitch. Bro, bro, now, you and your girl and a whole bunch of niggas and women were there. And they no. hard started having sex too. The Lord said we two or more gathered. So take it's a party. Wait, 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 wait. The Lord says what? We're two or more gathered. What? That's not a party. Give it here. He didn't say that. The Lord said that's not a party. It party. says party, a social <laughs> gathering of invited guests, typically involving eating, drinking, and entertainment. Invited guests. Inviting guests. I invited my girl over. Hmm? No, your girl lives with you. <laughs> so, well, let's say what? No, no, no. Before not, that, this, before that, I invited her over. And what? Nigga. She put on that freaky shit. You turn on that music. She put on that lingerie. I threw some money in the air. Your party seemed kind of boring. That's yeah, and, and so, but so that's my shit. That's the way he like it. My, my shit is tamed. Y'all have some freakier parties than that. Yes. Seventy-two. What shit? Absolutely. Seventy-two hours. <laughs> Seventy-two hours 72. with watermelons. That's what I'm saying. Everybody got their own. So you're, ver- so you're saying anything outside of you and your girl in a room privately having a straight good time. missionary, no music, lights on. Ew. Straight missionary. Ew. Yeah, like so. That's what I'm. Ew. No, no, uh, That's what I'm talking about. Ew. Live, See how disgusting and normal live, that sounded. Live a little. Damn. Yeah, yeah live a little. Like, That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, no, no, I'm Ain't no baby oil. No mirror on the ceiling. Nothing. Yeah, bro, yeah. that's what I, that's what I'm saying. Everybody want that freaky shit. But have you what, wait? Have you ever pulled levels, out baby oil though. ever in life? Have I pulled out baby? Have yeah. I rubbed some baby oil on a bitch ass? Yeah. For sure. And how? Wait, wait. You need, y'all need wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 give me that, give me that. How much baby oil did you use? As much as I feel like I did. No, how much though? Huh? Yeah. We, I went through a whole bottle one time. You, you squeezed that one. I went through a whole bottle Bro, of baby oil. Me and Angel, yeah. me and Angel, we do stuff. And <laughs> our, our, our baby oil has lasted a year. It's still there. But, I was like, bro, baby oil goes long. We don't, and like, we don't use baby oil. You don't no, use I'm baby saying, oil. we ain't never used some baby oil. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very few of them. That's what I'm saying, though. But it you don't keep it in the box. You don't keep it under the bed. Baby oil stains. You can't right, wash baby right. oil out. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah see? We've so used baby oil it's not a handful Spare, of times. Sparingly. Yeah. yeah. But that's, so that's because that's a thousand of things. I got the same baby oil bottle from like... I do. I do use baby oil to moisturize. And that still lasts quite a long time. That's because y'all don't get into that. Yeah, that's what I don't want. Right, but, but, like, but I don't you, think you it's. Feel like BDS, huh? I don't feel like it's weird for. Here's my thing: as long as it is two or more consenting adults engaging in whatever they get into, to me, I don't think that's out of line or whatever. When you start getting into harming people, when you start getting into underage individuals, when you start getting into things that could critically damage someone's psyche and stuff like that, then you start having an issue. Outside of that, if it's both, you know, consenting adults doing what they do, I don't give a damn what what door they going into, what they pour on each other. That's y'all business. Y'all are all consenting adults. Are drugs involved? If that's what they get into and they're all consenting. No, I mean Angel. Oh well that's no absolutely we don't do drugs. We don't do drugs. No. Just the water. Just the water. We're not talking about you, Angel. We talk about freaky shit. Yeah, we're talking about the freaky the freak offs, man, Diddy, uh, for since the two thousands, and the nine nine, and the nine nine, uh, involved in all kind of. So in the indictment, it said that not only was he doing the freak offs for days, but he was inviting sex, sex workers over to the point to where after they were done, they had to hire people to come in to clean up. Hire. Yeah, but that crew. don't sound. I mean, that sounds like fun. 
That I mean, you hire a cleaning crew to come clean up after your guests leave your Airbnb. You hire a cleaning crew to come clean up your house after you've had a regular party. You pl- you hire you know what I'm saying. I have a cleaning lady. I'll call. Hey, we had a you know we had a birthday party this weekend. You know I need you to come early. Um, did she ever have to like clean up after y'all's uh, sex parties? Not uh, <laughs> the ones that don't exist. <laughs> the ones we ain't having. The ones, the ones we, we not have. having. Um, so what's the, what's the, what's the complaint here that we can't get freaky black people? Wait a minute, hold on. No, let's let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Yeah. Let's bring it back. I disclaimer: right. I am not validating anything that Sean P. Diddy Combs has done as to the reason why he is under Absolutely federal custody not. right now. Absolutely not. Under any circumstance, everyone is complaining about these freak off parties, and if you just think of it as fifty consenting adults. Freaking off. Cleaning crew, baby oil and all. Everyone has a problem with that particular part. If you take out the forceful sex, the forceful drugs, the underage girls. What is, what, what what? is the difference between that and then going to Colette's? Uh, so and for those who don't know what Colette's is, Colette's is a swingers club here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. What is the difference between that and that? Um, Nothing. Uh, dicks. I don't know. No. Nothing. Um, There's nothing that's yeah, different. No, so the question is, what are y'all thoughts about it being called freak off by the nation? Like they're actually using that term in the indictment. Because they want to destroy they want to destroy his character. They want to defame him as much as I'm possible. Saying, is freak off a, is that a bad term to you or something? Like does that sound fuck I off? mean shit they, why did they just say uh sexual guy? Why did they just well, say if they said fuck party, would you feel any different? Why did they just well, say orgy? Not cuss on why did, syndicate television. Why don't they just say orgy? Yeah, they said orgy. Would you Why did you say yeah, orgy? Like the, uh, orgy? Who doesn't enjoy an orgy? An orgy. They said a freak off. That that implies that a horse might have been there. Hold on, you said, wait, wait, did you say who doesn't enjoy an orgy? <laughs> yeah, who doesn't enjoy an orgy? Who does enjoy an orgy? Who yeah. does enjoy an orgy? Uh, Puff Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> and Dion. I've never been That's a part funny. of an orgy. I've and never been a part of an orgy. Okay, so I don't know what orgy So who doesn't enjoy an orgy? But what I'm saying is, if there was an orgy going on and you were invited, would you think about going? No. No. Oh. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm running it, I guess. I get a better man than me. I just, yeah, that, some, so wait, some, no, so wait. So they, <laughs> they listed it as orgy in the uh, documents. That's better than freak off or is that, is that worse? I'm, I'm just asking. I like the word freak off. As for a good thing? Yeah. Or to put him in jail? Like, I just think it's just, that's a good title for it. Oh, so it's light work to you? Yeah. Oh, that, okay. So he might, he might get off. Because they're gonna be like freak off. What the fuck is that? Freak off, like freak neck. No, yeah, really. if it was a white person, they would have said orgy. It would have definitely said orgy. Just like if they was in New Orleans when they had the hurricanes, if it was white people, they would have been people in distress. But we were refugees. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, refugees. They got terms for sex parties. They call orgies. Why don't we just use the white term? Freak off is a what is term. the freak off? That's what that implies. That's that Diddy called it. Yeah, that nigga ain't got that nigga on. I think Jack coined that. No, that nigga Diddy coined it. Oh, he did Quinn? Yeah, he, he said, free, we having free cops in here. Yeah, he said, he, they wouldn't even use it in if the, if he didn't say it. Oh, if he said free cops, then Yeah, he made some shit up that never existed. Like, we having this free cop tonight or what? And Cassie, one time Cassie said, no, I don't want to do it. And he argued with ah, it. Ah, you ain't say it. No, this is, a, this is uh, Tokyo, what I did paper. Shout out to Tokyo Tony, because she came through and read the whole indictment. And uh, Cassie oh. said she was trying to get away with her friend. And then he said, we're having a free cop tonight. You ain't getting nowhere. And she had to go do the freak off. Her friend saw her the next day, and she was out of her mind. And obviously, from all the dick she took. No, they, they no, no, it's not the drugs. No, it's all the ketamine she took. Yeah, it's not the drugs. That's the problem. It's the drugs. That's the problem with all this. So you think the problem is the drugs and not the salacious sexual activities and no, perverse? No, that means it's no. perversity. <laughs> yes, on top of that, the drugs. Oh um, no, nah, bro! They <laughs> found drugs. They found lubrication. He was accused of tickling a man, man's ass right. while the I, man was I don't, upset. I don't, I don't, I don't, you I don't say know. right like that's cool. No, I'm, not, I'm telling you, that's terrible. Bro, this is I don't not know. right. Why is he doing bro, this? All this whole yeah, without his consent? To tickle a man's ass while he smashes someone else is wow. Right. And for him, that's to what happens back. during origin. And this is what happens when a man has Our so much thoughts. money and he just, just wants to let his perverted mind just wonder. So what you're saying is men shouldn't have so much money. No, what I'm saying is men should be disciplined. That's what I'm saying. But he can't have you can't be disciplined with that much money. No, you can't. You can't. How can you? You can't. What do you mean? How can you? You can't be. He's showing us that we can't. No, he He can't. can't. That's why he needs to go to jail. 
How do we know any man can? Right. A billion dollars is a lot of money. Have we ever had a billion? Because I've every, never been around billionaires that are disciplined. Because every millionaire would be in prison if that was the case. No, every no, black no, man... No, they do this shit behind closed doors. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. But money but comes with a, 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 a certain amount of power. Yeah, you no, could, you because, hide that shit. No, money comes with a certain amount of power. I don't believe that every single black man that is a millionaire is a disgusting human being. I do not believe that. No, no, do no. I believe that as you get money, you are able to tap into things that you may not have been able to tap into before? Absolutely. Do I feel like there are black millionaires who get into some freaky things? Yes, absolutely. Why wouldn't you? are grown, you have money, you're having it your way. Why wouldn't you partake in whatever thing that you want to? The problem is when people are not consenting, when you are drugging people without consent, when Wait you first. like the idea of forcing something upon someone that that is what you get off of. Not that you can't afford, because you can pay a prostitute. There's $50 prostitutes, there's $5,000 prostitutes that you could pay to get into whatever it is you want to get into. Some people with power get so much power that they like to yield that power. That's what gets them off. And that is the problem. Right. Not every rich black man uses his power to force himself or force people to do things. But some people do get off on that. That's what I'm they saying, like. There's, there's nice kings and evil kings. Right. Basically, like, yeah. because, again, if that was the case, everybody would be on the chopping block. Every single successful black man, whether they're a basketball player or a doctor or a business owner or an actor, everybody would be on the chopping block but if that was the case. As a, as a black man, you are on the chopping block. You are born on the chopping block. That's what I'm saying. That line is for every push for every black man, for uh, Kobe, for Tupac, for Mike Tyson, for uh, Russell Simmons, all these black men have all these hellacious charges. All of them have money, so... No, and some of them don't have charges. Some of them have accusations. Charges and accusations are two totally different things. No, some of them... Been, no, these people that I mentioned were brought up on charges. I didn't mention nobody with a, with a claim. No, okay. They were brought up on charges. Who did you mention, say again? Mike Tyson, Kobe, uh, Russell Simmons, and... Uh, well, you Kyler. said Tupac. And Tupac. But well, this, but this well, isn't all well, black men, though. Wait, well, look... Well, let's talk about Samuel L. Jackson. Let's talk about Idris Elba. Let's talk about uh, Michael B. Jordan. Let's talk about Eddie Murphy. Let's talk about people. No, no, we we talk. Those are the same names. Diddy was in that list until he got caught. No, so you saying it, no, niggas, no. it shouldn't happen yet? No, no, yeah, but it hasn't. They're not. You know what I'm saying Diddy was in that list too until this no, happened. No, no, right. I know, but what I'm saying is, I don't is, know what goes on in niggas' bedrooms. No, no. Oh, what no. I'm saying is, there's several black people that you can name that haven't been brought up. That's what I'm saying until until they get brought up. Brought up. So you're saying you're it, saying that, that, I'm ahead. saying the niggas can be You're saying, you're saying every black man is on chopping block. Every black man is going to have a charge I'm at saying some when point. A black man reaches a status and he tries to push past a certain window or a certain ceiling or break into a certain room that he's not supposed to be in. His life comes to an end swiftly and quickly. And it starts with defaming that. his character. It starts with his sexual activity. It starts with how he spends his money and what he spends his money on. That's how it and starts. everybody doing the same thing and living they the same way. Taxes, taxes. It. It's fine. It's fine. So much shit. Nigga, nobody. We got a nigga right now, white man that's running for president that is a felon. Uh, and he's charged with every every single hate crime, every single crime that he's been charged with. Fucking guilty. with us. Get, and found guilty. And he's running for fucking president. That would never happen. And he's going to win. Well, you know, they shooting at the bitch. That would never happen. Uh, they shoot for, for, for this skin color. They shooting at the bitch every every time yeah, he goes I somewhere. Mean, they shooting I, at I think we're, our, Yeah, of course. I mean, what are you saying? Like, but that's what I'm saying. Got to be that We we <laughs> have there's this example that's getting set with our people that once you see like, oh, he's a billionaire. But what I'm saying is, you better be squeaky. This is what I'm saying. Thing. This is what I'm saying. You better not jaywalk. You better not jaywalk. No, but what I'm saying is, do y'all think what Diddy did was wrong? Of course, what he did. Yeah, yeah. Once you hear about no, no, no. So what Diddy would say, this was done in the privacy of my own home. Mind you, again, until Cassie came forward, nigga, there was no. But no. So people, they found like like Fast said, they start pushing the the needle back to say, oh no, he was he's a criminal, civil all day. It could be civil all day. All right. So it it could be civil all day, but with Diddy, it's funny how how did he get away with it for so long? Look. Man, I'm going to tell you Because he what. stayed in a nigga's place. Look, let's... He ran around his... Big, why wasn't they screaming shit when he was running around saying, vote or die? I don't really like it. Oh, yeah. That's just, hey, we again. miss you guys. No, hey, miss you too. Uh, Got to do something very soon. Back in Dallas. Back Very home. much so. So, 
real quick, uh, you guys are coming into a, a, a portion of our podcast where we're having a question, and we got to get your take on it. And mind you, now we have Odell in the picture to where I would like to his take on this too. And um, it, I, should we start with Odell? Should we start with Odell? Yeah, yeah. please yeah. do. So, I'm talking about. We were going back and forth about this whole Diddy case, and we were asking ourselves, "What is considered too freaky? Like what, what, like what is considered beyond, like where whoa, this is almost criminal of nature? It, for what level is too freaky?" Woo! Oh man, that's a good question, man. <laughs> um, the thousand bottles of fuck sauce. <laughs> um, yes, the fuck sauce. That's freaky. Did you that, say the fuck sauce? No, there are actual products there in the world. I mean, they called it they they called it baby oil. Oh, okay. But when you go to the little little X X, yeah, it's, we it's went it's to the sex shop. It's called fuck sauce. Yeah, mm-hmm. we just we stopped at the liquid. <laughs> so, all right, Jack, can you hear us? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So we're trying to we're trying to settle the debate on this podcast. Uh, so let's talk about it, and we're trying to say, you know, what is too freaky uh, for a black man? You know, uh, the question was, can a black man rise to certain levels, and will they just not come for us, or will they come for us all? And how freaky is too freaky? If if, well, if you're a black man and you're gonna stand on yours and hold your nest, they they gonna try to come after you anyway. Shout out to my master teacher, uh, Siddiqui Bakar, because they came after him. He he knew how to handle that. He got to take a lesson from that. But how freaky is too freaky? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. What is too freaky for you? More than one person besides your partner in the whole situation is a little too much. I'm not gonna watch nothing. I'm, I'm... How about this? Would you go to a free book with me? Let me participate in your face. Hell no. See, there it is. Nah. <laughs> I'm just too different like that. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, for me. Everybody knows I'm Pandora's box. And all I'm going to say is anything that can make me blush or say, say what now? Like, it's too much. And I said that on like, I don't know, at least a hundred of the pages (laughs) from the lawsuit and the indictment. So yeah, I think... I think, um, yeah, yeah, a thousand bottles of baby oil. Yeah, it's too much. So, so, so let's let's play the game then, real quick. Um, I mean, are people really that dry these days that you need all that oil? Well, yeah, they, like they usually the, the, the ozone layer to keep things, you know. Global. All right, so um, hey, uh. Today. Jack, we're 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 gonna play a game real quick, and uh, we'll let y'all start it. We'll we'll say some names, but um, the call it's called uh, who was on the tapes? And yeah, let, 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 yeah. Let, let's start off with y'all. Like, who do y'all think is on the tapes? And just 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 throw a name out there. I'll throw a name out there real quick. No, we're gonna we're gonna do this. I bet a thousand dollars Stevie J is on the tapes. Ooh. That's well, an easy one. Out. He's a freak off poster boy. Oh, all right. Oh. I bet oh. I bet a G that uh uh Cuba Gun Jr. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He did he bop. He did he oh. bop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'ma say See, I, I believe. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I wanna hear what you gonna say. I was gonna say, um, I, I think Pharrell is on the tapes. Oh, I know he Wait. is. Oh. <laughs> I have no doubt in my mind. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, who, you, who, who would be surprised that was on the tape? That yeah, you yeah, what who do you think is on the tape, bro? I I, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't put nothing past nobody. 
But at the end of the day, I don't see Bill Clinton all of it. I'm going to tell you who I, I believe <laughs> is on the tapes. I believe Barack Obama got a tape. Yeah, he's playing hide the hot dog. I know Jennifer Lopez has multiple tapes. Oh, yeah. Oof. I know Beyonce got a tape. Oh. I definitely know they probably recycled some old Stevie J and Eve stuff. Mm. I know Drake got a tape. I know Rihanna got a tape. I know Chris Brown's on one of them tapes. I know Trey Songs has been like a supporting actor in many freak off film. Um, definitely Usher. Do you think these tapes will come out? Usher. Sure. Okay. I think eventually at some point, I mean, you know what they say when the cat's away, the mice will play? But when the devil's away, the demons will, you know, be on demon time. And everyone's going to be auditioning to see who's going to take the spot. Because that's what they all do. Like, the ones that aren't talking, the ones that aren't coming forward, it's because they hoping that they're going to go from Google to Brooklyn status. So, yeah, I think... I think what would shock people are the politicians um, and the royals that oh, were yeah. on that tape. And I'm still trying to figure out when Harry and Meghan are going to be honest yeah. about their freak-off tape. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think anybody really wants to talk about the fact that the royal family has many times at Ditty Party, especially that weird old uncle. Um, oh, man. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised um, if that's part of the reason why the arrest took time. Because the truth is, with a lot of the people that they don't want to talk about on those tapes, it could literally create a problem with national security. And, um, you know, diplomacy. Why? I mean, Diddy's been fucking off a long time. You know, I remember when he first started throwing the white parties back in Morocco um, in the late 90s and early 2000s, and everybody was making such a big deal about going to that white party. Unfortunately for them, they didn't know the customs. They didn't know the culture. In Morocco, even now, you can still go and get your prostitute for as young as eight years old. Mm -hmm. So, um, and Bangkok, I mean, if the name says all, you know, there's a lot in it. Mm. Bangkok, maybe that's where the name room comes in. I don't know. But, yeah, yeah, there's going to be a lot of, um, I, I got a feeling that. Do, do you believe, uh, uh I was gonna say, do you believe B two K is on the tapes? Oh, oh yeah, Chris Stokes is on. I mean, if they're not, Chris Stokes is a whole he's fighting, you know, and Chris Stokes is old school industry pedo, like, and everyone knows that. Yeah. I never liked him. I always thought he was creepy. And see, I know before B2K, yeah, yeah, yeah. The group before um, B2K, Quint, uh, Quentin, Quentin, immature, IMX, immature, immature, yeah, 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 immature, yeah, yeah, yeah. IMX. Yeah, yeah. He been rocking these little kids ever since then. He been rocking the bells, and everybody knew it. And yeah. you know the simple fact that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't even I don't even think anybody wants to see old Chris Stokes doing uh now that, that there's levels to it because I know some LA too. <clears throat> yeah, right. <laughs> now I know some LA dudes who they said they've been to the Diddy 
but then they like, oh, we we only hung out in the backyard. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, no pun no pun intended. They, they you know, there there's the house. Then you, you go to the back. You gotta you know, get whatever. invited into the special room. See, the party, the, you know, you got the layers. There's levels to this, so you know, you gotta make it through. And then you get invited into the to the back room. Damn, damn. All right, so real quick uh, before we let you go, because this is, is very static. We gotta, we're going to play the last game, and this is – and, again, we're going to let you all answer. Uh, one of y'all could go first. It don't matter who goes first. Uh, so the Fed sees Diddy's computers and stuff of that nature. What are the top three porn searches do you feel were in his computer? I'm going to let whichever one, whichever one of y'all want to go first. Go ahead. Oh, man. I, look, man, man, um – let me see. I, man, oh, that, that's that's brutal. That's brutal. Uh, I'll go first. Go get them, Jay. All male gang bangs, midgets, and um, probably some kind of Catholic school weirdo stuff. Mm. He's giving, you know, cardinal and pope vibes. Okay. I don't know. Maybe okay. the uh, the reenactment of uh, you know that Pulp Fiction scene with Vin Rhames or something. I mean, well, that would be the male gangbang okay. with okay. the right. uh, ball uh, gag. Right, right, right. BDSM. I mean, BDSM. That, that yes. that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, I can definitely see him. Yeah, I'm telling you. Prison grape, maybe. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. I, I don't know. Is, is that? But would that be considered recreational or research? Damn, that, that's a good one. Mm. <laughs> what? One more, Dale. Which one you got? One more, Dale. What you got? Oh man, oh man. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, ugh, ugh. I don't know. He's not a sick out. Yeah, I, I can't even. He really think. has a hard time. I can't even think. I'm like right. some of these YouTubers, like it's like. He's ready to, you know, so like this whole freak off, it's a whole nother. Yeah, you had a YouTuber who said something about doing something to another, you know, ah, it's like, yeah. It, no, it, no, 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 the, 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 the no. weird guy with the crown, no. he said he was going to no, don't. turn my son Sam into a homosexual. So, hold on, yeah, before, I, we have to get your take on this, um, because we haven't, you, they, the I fans were saying. to the freak off. No, they were you asking, get and again, if you don't mind speaking on this, your son was on Tasha K's uh, thing, mm -hmm. and I, we, that's we haven't what seen they him. Say. That's what they say. Everybody that's seen it said it looks weird and it sounds weird, and it should because it's all AI. Wow. But I'm not going to try to convince anybody of anything. Um, yeah. Anybody who wants to pay twelve ninety nine to hear a known and convicted liar try to coerce an autistic young man into lying while she laughs in his face and makes fun of him. Anybody who wants to watch that can go ahead. Please hurry up and do it because as soon as we get everything that we need, then the lawsuit goes in. So the more money that she makes off of it really is the better for us. Um, but we're suing everybody, including mm -hmm. my son. If, if, if there's, if, I don't care if it's the AI him or the real him. Everybody getting fucking sued. Mm. Understandable, uh, and I know y'all uh, you got to run, but lastly, lastly, and Odell, you can answer this first. Who is gonna inherit the fifty foot bed in Diddy's backyard? Oh damn, there's a fifty foot bed. Yeah, the fifty yes. foot bed in the backyard where yeah, they yeah, do yeah. the big. Damn, a fifty yeah. foot bed. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I guess who will inherit? Drake, give it to Drake. They can fly that to Canada. Give it to Drake. Honestly, I don't think so. I think the way Justin and Christian have been going, they're probably going to fight for possession of that bed. Well, they they, they can't take it anywhere. They, their passports have been... Well, no, taken. I mean, you know, 
they, they don't need to take it overseas. They can take it. What they say, they, they always buy the house next door. Oh, they, well, yeah. they say they buy the house next door and put all the real evidence there. So I guess that's what they bank on. Why they take the baby's passport too? That's crazy. Because <laughs> that's crazy. Because because Ling Ling is down for the ting ting. That's why. It, that mom it, ain't shit. You know he, that's the one that he had spying on Kim. Mm, mm. That was her purpose to spy on Kim mm. and give him information on Kim, so Kim wouldn't know that he was still it, like it's weird. And, they probably got duplicates. They need to check every time. Mm. And, la and lastly, again, it's I know it's always the last one. Uh, yeah. um, Russell Simmons, do you feel like um, he's watching this very closely right now? Well, he should be. Mm. He should be. He should be watching very close so he'll know what happens. If he ever decides to spend more than 72 hours in the United States ever again. Okay. Because um, you're just as guilty as the diddler, mm. sir. And you're a fucking asshole. And the way you treat those kids, Kimora's kids, is deplorable. And any man that can treat his daughters that way, God knows what he would do to strangers' children. You know, um, yeah, Russell Simmons, you know, yeah, yeah. I would say was, LL Cool J. Are we forgetting no. LL Cool J is his invention? Like, ladies love Cool James. The question is, does he love the girls back? That's the question. Um, All right, Jack. Well, hey, listen, thank you so much for coming in on this podcast. Uh, there's Again, we're go we're gonna do something special for the people and for the fans. Uh, we'll talk later as far as what that may be, but um, it's a blessing as always to have both you on. Uh, to play this little game we play and join us on the Let let's talk about it podcast. Yeah, we're gonna definitely people need your interview when you come. Always asking about him. We're gonna, always. Always asking about him. Oh, Odell, we're definitely gonna get your interview on this couch. We got you got yeah, to we'll, see it we'll, through. Yeah, we'll work it out, man. I'm still, you know. You know, we'll work it out. <laughs> He's still trying to play Mr. Behind the Scenes. And I keep telling him, babe, you with me. You you outside now. Right. Outside. <laughs> yeah, people starting to run up, but you know, it's just <laughs> oh, oh. aren't you the <laughs> Well, you right. know what it is, man. Um, it's always a blessing again. Uh we'll be speaking soon. Uh definitely enjoy your night. Uh again, probably more breaking news tomorrow. We'll be in touch. But Jack, oh. thank you so There's much. There's gonna be oh. butt breaking news, I'm sure, every oh. day for the next week. Three PM is when he three PM is when he uh goes back when the jury I mean Yeah, to see whether or not they're gonna give him bond. Yeah. After they turn them down. You know our earlier clip, it was before they finally said no bond. We had had him out of jail and everything on the ankle. Right. He was already walking Ain't down the street. God good. <laughs> <laughs> right. You put him put him right back in there. Um Jack, uh for those that don't know, um, how can they find you if you decide to go live yourself or oh, tell look, them where to look. find because she has realjag.com, which is realjag.com, but the jaguarright.com. The jaguarright.com, Patreon as well, patreon.com slash jaguarright. We're gonna be re reintroducing Unplugged next week and she on has our her, website. <laughs> and she has her podcast that uh, it's going to be more stuff for her for uh, Jack Right Uncensored. Instagram, TikTok, know. you know, I can't get into my Facebook right now. I'm locked out. Uh, Facebook jail. But, you know, just look for Jaguar Right. TheJaguarRight.com And TheJaguarRight.com has everything. Yes, go there at pause this, go there right now, and so much more is coming. If you're looking for what's happening next, Revealing all this, Regina everything, Gold yeah, is what's happening next. It's gonna be right there for your consumption. So please go check it out. But no, we thank y'all again. Uh enjoy your night. Uh we'll see y'all soon. Peace that and blessings. That steak is gonna be medium rare and taste almost as good as him. No fuck sauce or diddy implied. Fine. Let go. Uh, that was crazy. <laughs> man, Jack, man.
Let's excuse me. The, 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 the audio, man, was crazy, but Jack, man, gives it to us every time. Every time. We love you, Jack. We love you, Jack. So glad that Diddy's arrested. So. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Let me ask. Uh, let me ask you, Angel. Um, you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I'm so out the loop on this one. I don't know. I'm not gonna it's stop. Going. Uh, it's there. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, oh my <laughs> so uh, no. All right, all right. We should, we should, we should. Bounce back. No, so yeah. <laughs> so that dope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, all right, all right. This <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my god. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. You know, uh, no, uh, all right, real quick. One thing we got to touch on is, um, Angel, and you kind of know a little more about this, but Brashear Gray. Yes. Um, all I seen on Twitter was the tweets of, hey, damn, his booty hole getting licked. I, again, I ain't seen no video. I ain't seen no videos, but you might have went down that rabbit hole a little bit. What exactly is going on? For those that may not know, with uh, Empire Star. So, because I am a fan of him, when I started. I mean, because Jack has mentioned that he's like, you know, getting into some things in past interviews, but he started trending um, because apparently he posted on his Twitter that there was new guy on guy content on his OnlyFans. Now, again, I hadn't seen any videos or pictures of him in forever. And so I went to his Twitter just to try to figure out, like, was this a hoax? Was this really him? Like, what was really going on? And not only was that true. Yes, he does have OnlyFans. And yes, there is guy on guy content. There is a lot of salacious content on his Twitter. I mean, he is in some compromising positions. He's working out nude. He, um, there's content with him and men. There's content with him and females. Um, it's a lot. And so, um, like I was saying, it's saddening because I, I just knew. I just knew that he was the next big thing. I knew that this the Empire was jump started his career. And so to see him go from such a syndicated, you know, mass show, you know, made so much money, has so many seasons. You're on this show with Taraji P. Henson, with Terrence Howard, you know what I'm saying? These heavy hitters for him to be such a star there to go all the way to not only doing OnlyFans, but doing it in this way is it's crazy. Let me ask you, um, and Faz, you can speak on this, Rook, you can speak on this. And first, you can start with Andrew. What do you think leads him to that? Well, you know, so from they, what we don't see, you know, they're saying like that there was there was some sort of sexual abuse, but that he also suffers from some mental instabilities. Um, and this is all hearsay. This is just what the Internet says. Um, and that he also um, dabbles in drug use. Again, all alleged, all what the Internet is saying. Um, I definitely feel like there probably is a little drug use just from the way that he looks. He doesn't even look the same. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times that can come from either alcohol abuse or drug abuse. So I for sure, at the very least, feels like there's some sort of abuse with substance, for sure. And Rook, for you yourself, to, if you were knowing you not now, who you are now, mm -hmm. and then 10 years later, you're doing what Brashear Gray is doing on the internet, <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what could happen in your life? <laughs> what, what things could happen in your life that let like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Hypothetically, what what things could happen in your life? Yeah, like for three years later, this is what you're doing online. What? Okay, I would never be doing what Brashear <laughs> <laughs> Gray is doing. Um, 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. I think that um, every, we need to start taking niggas' phones away. <laughs> like, cause, bro, I don't think every nigga deserves a camera, bro. Number one. Let's let's, let's start there, bro. Like, one. and your camera should be deactivated if you want to do weird shit on your, uh, with your cell phone. That's what I think. That's happening. We have enough AI tools to do that. If the government was watching all of our phones, like at all times, right. will we act right? Will we act accordingly? Yes. Just, his, no. his count needs to be suspended. No. But, but, yeah, suspend his account. For suspend doing his it. account for what? Because, living bro, his he's life? Bu- no, his, he has his, kid fans. Bro, no, no, no. Bro, bro. he's he, living no, his no, life. No, no, no. He's, he's not living, living his, his life. He, bro, he's not living his truth. Right, he's, he's, he's bipolar. He's, he's been sexually assaulted. Yeah. He's having an episode right now, and we're watching him melt down. He might regret it a yeah, week bro, from now. How How is this good for his career? Please tell me. It's not about his career. It's about what he wants to be doing. How is this good for his career? Who He, he doesn't care about his career. Why no, would everybody did. else? Sometimes it's, people have to care for you more than you care for yourself in, in times of crisis. But ultimately, you have to care for your own well-being. Yeah, but sometimes No matter how can. much we want Sometimes you to. cannot, though. No, you have to. But, but sometimes you, you yeah, cannot. Episode, <laughs> you might be, you well, might that's be, what yeah. I'm saying. Those who... are If you are in a state you can't, of psychosis... Then you just, or if you're struggling with alcohol, if if you run into someone who is addicted to drugs, although they did make a choice to try drugs, or maybe sometimes some people don't make a choice. Sometimes they're laced. Sometimes it's introduced to them against their will. However, you are a drug addict now. You are unable to make conscientious decisions about your own life and what's best for you. Sometimes you need somebody to step in and help you make those choices because you're unable to do it. No, you may need somebody to step in and assist you with getting the help that you need, i.e. rehab or some type of rehabilitation, but ultimately you have to make the decision that you want to receive that help. You have to decide that. You have to make that choice for yourself. No one can make that choice for you. What if you need guidance to that? What if you need guidance to even have a clear mind enough to make the decision? That would be you forcing them. to. You need this. We're going to take you against your will. We're going to put you in this facility. We're forcing. So, so are you okay with what he's doing? Yeah, because it doesn't bother me. Do you? Do I you, haven't even seen it because it, I don't because know what he's doing. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Is, it is, if he's getting if he's getting his booty ate out by another man, is that him crying out for help? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, from where he where he was <laughs> from where he was at, bro. Niggas, he was bro, bro, who, bro, <laughs> niggas be a place and then they be somewhere else in life, bro. It, it doesn't matter. Nah, bro. Sometimes niggas fall off, bro. It's just like, what's that Bernie Mac, the, the little girl on Bernie Mac? She's like, I'm doing OnlyFans because I don't her, have any money. She was like, her bad, no money. Didn't, and we didn't send her no money. Nah, <laughs> niggas said, somebody, somebody might have tried to help Somebody her. gave her some money, bro. Money trying to fuck. But she didn't get no type of real she, money yeah they got to, some they got some, what she need was another acting gig that's what she needed and she, what she need was people in her corners who cared about her bro and wouldn't let her go down so, this route so that's a, what she needed a, angel bro. from what you saw that's what she needed was but he crying i'm for sure help. she had that no no she didn't have it because she had she it have that it? wouldn't it would have never happened the way it happened how do you know that really? i know Bro, take them glasses off because they give you way too much. <laughs> you put way too much on the shit. He wasn't again. <laughs> From what you saw, did you see an episode, a manic episode? Was he crying out like someone help? Me. I did see someone who's probably not all the way there. Okay. For sure. That's um you seen a nigga being freaky. That's what nah, you saw. But if you dick. if you care about people and you're able to read people and understand people. <laughs> Who me? This shit can't come out. <laughs> it's coming out. Oh shit! Land this Take us out. Land this place. What is we, his name? Please? We are we are praying for Brashear Gray. He, bro, he's and we, fine. And we hope that he's doing what he wants to he do. He gets the help that he deserves. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs>
Bro, nigga, bro, nigga ain't never got on this couch and say we are praying for what's oh. old boy we be. Fuck, I don't even know. We're praying, bro. Oh, yeah, we haven't said that. <laughs> <laughs> we, can't, we can't pick and choose what we can. <laughs> if, if Orlando Brown was doing a porn on the internet, yeah. and, and we'd be like, what's going on? I'll call Orlando Brown. What is, are you okay, bro? I would definitely call him, like, are you okay? Yeah, you got to. There's, there's a moment that someone got to. Didn't you let him wear your chair? So yeah. No, no, wait. I'm sure Bashir has somebody that called him. Somebody said, bro, you know, this is on your main Twitter account, bro. You can't do this. You can't go out like this. And he, <laughs> he said, said, come on over. <laughs> and, he's, and he said, I'm living my life. Come join. Anyway. We at the Diddy party. I, we, 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 he we, said Diddy. He didn't say no Diddy. He said Diddy. We would appreciate it if fast just let it go. Just let it go. What did happen to him? Um, okay, yeah, he was. Um, I did hear about those stories and... I don't, yeah, I can't tell what he's going through in his head. So, yes, prayers up. You know. Anyway, you don't go from deciding that I'm going to be one of the biggest up and coming young actors out here to I'm going to do OnlyFans just because it's Tuesday. Without reason, yeah. Because it's good, Thursday. Without reason. Nah. Make an announcement or something. Nah. This life is hard. And yeah. it will molest your mind and it make you do shit you don't think you would ever do. Yeah, I think if That's more people true. cared about more people, but is that more health, people though, may right? that be, be a little better health. off. Like awareness. Man. We should check in on Mental it. health matters. Check on your friends. Bro. For like, real. Like Joker said, 10 years later, I started doing porn. Something, I, something's I should wrong be checking in on this, man. Like, right. bro, you good? Like, bro. Just, Are you all right? Like, if, for me not to ask, like. Something yeah. wrong, right? You know, whatever. Maybe that nigga wanted to do porn. No one's going to be like. But not some okay, wild bro. freak off shit that he said he wouldn't do, like. <laughs> anyway, we appreciate y'all for tapping in. We want to give a special thanks to Jaguar and Odell for tapping in and you know give us giving us their two cents. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah. ig- ig- for ignore the problems. Just know overall you will in- you enjoyed it. You were here. You stuck around this long. So um, we want to definitely give a shout out to the cast, real life fast, real life Joker, real life Rook, Angel White. Uh, comment if you haven't subscribed uh, already. Tap I'm that subscribe to button. <laughs> it's too much going on, so we just go, we just gonna leave. We're out. We love you. Until next time. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moving. Hey.